Okay, so we just wrapped up October, which was National Substance Abuse Prevention Month. And when you think of drug prevention, you don't often think of luxury clothing. But local philanthropist Jackie Siegel teamed up with Neiman Marcus to raise money and awareness about the opioid crisis. News 6 anchor Julie Broughton caught up with Siegel for tonight's Getting Results in Our Schools. For Jackie Siegel, <laughs> Hi. a walk through her 20 most iconic outfits on display at Neiman Marcus. Look at this. This is my favorite piece is a stroll down memory lane. I was a little stressed because some of these outfits are from 20 years ago. I didn't even know if I'd be able to find them or if they were all in my closet, but um, keep in mind, my closet's big. We wanted to do something um, in the theme of live your luxury and 20 years of you know fabulous here. And, and who else do you think of? But Jackie Siegel. And while Siegel is known for her fashion, like custom-made designer gowns, elaborate purses, shoes, and jewelry. And it ended up right in Times Square on the biggest billboard there. This is about more than just fashion. I just want to donate the rest of my life to spreading the word and doing everything I can to spare other parents from losing their children from a, a, a drug overdose. I mean, and it's getting worse. Siegel's teenage daughter, Victoria, died of a drug overdose in 2015. And in honor of Victoria, a purple custom-made gown stands front and center of the retrospective. It has a very special meaning because it was the first Victoria's Voice Gala that we held in Las Vegas after Victoria passed away. And it was very emotional that night. And uh, it's, it's always going to be dear to my heart. I could never part with it. It's got pockets, too. <laughs> so, uh, now, through the Victoria's Voice Foundation, Siegel provides life-saving resources like Narcan, as well as education for school-age kids. But we have um, women all over the country speaking, going to schools, and we also have um, paid public speakers. Every day, they hit about six schools a day. Neiman Marcus donated a portion of sales from guests who attended the exhibit's opening night to Victoria's Voice. That money will help fund school visits as well as online education like the Teen Talk series and the Victory Academy. We raised a lot of money last night thanks to Neiman Marcus, and uh, that money is going to go to, uh, to saving lives from people doing drugs. Julie Broughton, Getting Results, News 6.